Getting information from the shell into different formats is pretty easy. Now, in the chapter you learned that, well, things like dir pipe more still work. You're, you're taking the output of dir and piping it to the input of another command. The more command is simply receiving that and it's pausing after every single page worth so that I can hit space bar and things don't go scrolling by super fast. Well, that same technique of piping works in a lot of places. Get service, for example, puts a bunch of service information on the screen. I can pipe that to export CSV, give it a file name, and now I'll get a CSV file with that information. And you can see that the get service command is actually producing a lot more information. Required services, whether or not the service can pause and continue, its dependent services, and so forth. This information isn't displayed on the screen by default, but it's there. So when I pipe it to export CSV, it's included in this CSV file. Uh, another output format I could choose to use is the command line interface XML type. So export CLI XML will allow me to create an XML file. It takes just an extra second, and we'll look at that in Notepad as well. And you can see that it's well-formed, pretty easily human-readable, although it's not really intended for a human to have to parse. It's intended so that you can import it into other things that support XML. So this whole idea of getting input from one command and piping it to another command is the real core of what PowerShell is all about. This isn't about writing a giant script that formats things or anything else. It's just about piping things from command to command to command until you get the exact results that you're after.